Okay, so now let's discuss the first uh, principle in fluid dynamics and that is the continuity equation or the equation of continuity. So I have here fluids flowing in an enclosed pipe. So let's uh, play that. So these are the fluid particles. And let's say the uh, let's say you have the the fluids. Let's study that. Look at this. If you are going to decrease the the area, as you can see, the fluid velocity is faster now. It's higher. Okay. According to the continuity equation, the amount of fluid passing through at any part. In, the, in, in an enclosed pipe is constant. What does it mean? It doesn't change. So here they are slower, but there's a lot of them. Here they are faster, but there's a few of them because of the smaller diameter, smaller area where they can flow. So, but according to the continuity equ equation, it should be the same. The mass per unit time the mass flow rate per unit of time is constant whether here or whether here or whether here but as you can see the amount increases or faster here the amount is a little bit slower here very slow but there's a lot of them because you know it's a bigger area as compared to the shorter shorter uh, part of the pipe so but according again according to the continuity equation the mass flow rate, mass per unit of time, should be constant constant at any part of the piping system. Let me now uh, express that in an equation. Okay, so here is our piping system. So I considered here two points. So let's say there's the mass flow rate, M1 per unit of time, T1. It is passing through at that time. Let's just call this X1. X1. And you have M2 over T2. And again, it should be equal. Okay, they should be equal. And then your X here is, let's just call it X2. Okay? So the mass passing through per unit of time. So we know that the formula for density is equals to mass per unit volume or mass is equal to density times volume. And again, M1, uh, mass flow rate, M1 over T1, so this is your mass flow rate, mass per unit time, should be equal to, should be constant, so equal to the mass flow rate on the other side, T2. Now substitute this to this value of mass. Okay, so density 1, which is actually the same, so what that we'll just call it density 1, volume 1 times, um, oh, divided by T1 equals density 2, volume 2, mm -hmm. right, over T2. But take note, what, what is the volume here? The volume is actually equal to area times the thickness, or the x. Area times the thickness. Okay? So substitute the values here and, and here. So density 1, area 1, times x1 over t equals density 2, area 2, times x2 over t2, this is t1, this is t2. So, let me write it properly, t2. Okay, but take note of this. What is this? What is that? Hmm? Distance per unit of time is actually your velocity right so take note that x over t is velocity of the flow okay so you can substitute the value here for this and for this 
So density 1, area 1, velocity 1 equals density 2, area 2, velocity 2. So this is one version of your equation of continuity. Okay, so that's your one version of equation of continuity. Okay, but for nearly incompressible fluid, so let, let me just add another uh, notes here. For, for nearly incompressible fluids such as water, water is nearly incompressible, density 1 doesn't change, should be equal to density 2 or just call it density or rho. Okay, so your equation, which is this one, will just be A1V1 equals A2V2. Okay, so let me just write it here. Density 1, A1V1 equals density 2, A2, V2. So this will cancel because they're the same. Yeah, they will cancel out. So A1, V1 equals A2, V2. So this is another variant of your equation of continuity. Okay? So some notes here. Some notes. Note that we have mass flow rate. That's mass per unit of time. We have another quantity volume flow rate or Q. Let's just call it Q. Volume per unit of time. That's capital V, not the small v. The small v is velocity of the fluid, but capital V here is volume. So, but this actually, Q equals uh, V over T, that's equal to area times X, look, so Q is actually equal to area times V, any of the two. Okay, so you can also say volume flow rate at part one is equal to the volume flow rate at part two. So when you talk about volume flow rate, it's liter or uh, cubic meter per second. So the SI unit here is cubic uh, meter per second. The amount of the volume of water. Okay, so that is all about the equation for continuity. Uh, I think next topic would be, I think, uh, Bernoulli's equation. So see you in the next video.